Today we're gonna review the Weight Guru's Bluetooth scale because in addition to your body weight, this scale also measures your body composition. Hey everyone, it's Anand from underdogstrength.com and welcome to episode 3 of my body recomposition series where I'll be attempting to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time as I prepare for my next powerlifting competition. Now your body composition refers to how much fat you have in your body and how much lean body mass you have in your body. And lean body mass simply refers to anything that is not fat. So this includes your muscle, your bone, the water in your body. And this scale measures each one of those. And as a coach, I always teach that what gets measured gets managed. So if you want the best results possible with, with your own fitness goals, then you have to find a way to measure your progress. And one of the main reasons why I was personally successful in losing over 125 pounds is that I kept track of my progress, whether it's keeping track of my body weight, keeping track of my body measurements, or even keeping track of my progress in the gym. So here's a quick unboxing for you guys. It, it comes with a, a smaller box inside the main box and when you open the actual box it doesn't really come with a lot of stuff it doesn't even include a manual uh, all it has is a set of instructions to take you to their website so they're gonna give you a link and if you follow the link the link will guide you through uh, the, the entire setup overall the build quality seems really solid and I also like how it looks you know even if you have a really good bathroom it's gonna look really good in there because it definitely has that premium look to it it comes included with a set of four batteries and once you remove the plastic tab the scale will turn on automatically and you can see the screen clearly when there's light outside as well as in low light conditions like you can see right here and you can clearly see your body weight along with your muscle mass your bone mass and how much water you have in your body. Most people like to keep track of their progress by looking at the numbers on the scale. While there's nothing really wrong with this, the, the number on the scale might not always reflect your body composition. And over time, as you train with weights and you continue to get stronger, especially if you're using a, a solid training program like the ones that I have on my website, well, what happens is that your body composition starts to improve, but this may not show up on the scale. This is especially the case if you have goals like mine, that you want to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time, because your body weight on the scale is not going to change uh, very much at all. And you still want to keep track of your progress. So what you can do is, instead of keeping track of your body weight, you can keep track of your body composition. And if your body composition is trending in the right direction, then you know that you're making progress. Now I'll be honest, when I first purchased the scale, I was very skeptical about it because the scale uses a technique called bioelectrical impedance analysis or BIA in short, in order to measure your body composition. And what this method does is that it passes a very small electrical current throughout your body and then your, your muscle, your fat and the water in your body interact differently with the electricity and based on that it's going to estimate your, your body composition. Now measuring your progress is more about consistency than accuracy. So I decided to go for the scale anyway because I figured that if it's not very accurate at least I can be consistent with it and see if my body composition is changing in a relative way. But to be honest I was pleasantly surprised when I actually saw the results because when I purchased the scale I, I really want to compare it. So I decided to go ahead and get a DEXA scan done and the DEXA scan put me at 18% body fat. I also like to use another way of measuring body fat which is known as the navy method. So if you want to learn how to use the navy method, click the link over here or click in the link in the description below. Now the DEXA scan is considered as the gold standard when it comes to measuring your body composition and it's, de it's definitely the most accurate measurement of body fat we have right now. So my DEXA scan put me at 18% body fat and using the navy method that also put me at 18% body fat. And when I first used the scale, it put me at 19% body fat. So I was within 1% of a difference, which to me is very accurate. So if you're wondering about this scale's accuracy, then in my experience, this scale has been very accurate when compared to doing a DEXA scan and also using the Navy method. But the benefit of using this scale is that 
uh, first of all if you want to do a DEXA scan it can be quite expensive and you have to go to a special place that provides a service and you can also use the Navy method but it's also a little bit more time consuming because you have to uh, actually measure your, bo your body measurements and then plug it into a calculator whereas with this scale you can just step on the scale and you can get your body fat percentage that way. And one of the best features of the scale is that it syncs automatically to the app. Simply go to the app store and look up the Weight Gurus app. Once you download the app, you have to create an account. After you create an account, it's gonna ask you for what type of scale this is. And since we are reviewing a Bluetooth scale, simply select the second option. Once you select the Bluetooth scale, it's gonna guide you through the process of syncing and pairing the scale with your smartphone. And the Bluetooth overall is very easy to set up. Once you have it set up, it's gonna ask you for more information including your date of birth, your height and your weight. Once you enter this information, it's gonna ask you whether you wanna select the normal mode or the athlete mode. And according to the website, an, an athlete mode simply means that you, you train intensely for more than 12 hours a week. And even though I compete in powerlifting, I don't train more than 12 hours a week. So I selected normal mode. And now you're ready to pair the device with your phone. Once you enter the pairing mode, the scale is gonna show up on the app. And simply tap to pair. After pairing, you can go ahead and select the user number. This scale automatically stores up to 8 people and their data and it automatically detects who is standing on the scale. But I must say that if you have multiple people who are within 10 pounds of each other then this scale will have a harder time distinguishing between who is standing on the scale right now. And the best part about the scale is that every time you step on it, it's gonna identify you and store your information. You can also sync the data from this app with many other different popular fitness apps. The two fitness apps that I like to use are MyFitnessPal and since I have an iPhone, I also use the Apple Health feature. Another great feature of this app is called the Weightless Mode and this is because a lot of people stress out when it comes to weighing themselves because sometimes they may be scared of looking at how much they actually weigh. And in order to solve this problem, you can select the weightless mode where instead of tracking your absolute weight, it's gonna start tracking your relative weight. So instead of telling you how much you weigh right now, it's gonna tell you how much uh, change was there in your weight, whether your weight went up or down. And this can be a good way for some people because then that way they won't be that intimidated when, when it comes to weighing themselves. And it can also be motivating because you can still keep track of your progress and make sure that you're moving in the right direction. All you have to do to enable this mode is to go to your menu and select weightless mode and then simply turn it on. Now if you want to sync up all the data on your app, make sure the app is on and also make sure that the Bluetooth is on on your phone. And once these are on, simply go ahead and step on the scale like I'm doing right here in the video. Once you do this, the app is automatically gonna sync and even if you haven't synced your app for a few days, the, since the scale is already storing all your data, it's gonna sync up all the days that you haven't synced up. Here I am using one of my favorite apps called MyFitnessPal and as you can see, if I, if I enter my profile and go into the menu, you can see that all my veins have automatically been synced with the app. So if you use MyFitnessPal like I do, then this can be a great option for you because you can simply look at all your data within the MyFitnessPal app itself. Here you can see that I've synced up all my data from the scale with Apple Health and you can see all my data including my body fat percentage, my lean body mass, my body weight here. And if I go ahead and select the data source, it's gonna show you the Weight Guru's Bluetooth scale. So no matter what your fitness goal is, make sure to keep track of your progress consistently. I personally recommend that you weigh yourself every day if possible because uh, your weight is gonna fluctuate every single day and if you do it consistently every day, you can, you can go off averages instead of your daily fluctuations. I hope this video gave you a better idea of how this scale works and whether you should buy it or not. 
Uh, I personally am very satisfied with this and I would highly recommend if you want to keep track of your fitness progress. If you want to check out this scale, it's very affordable and I'll leave a link down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.